thought he was an offer. Um, I think he's physical. He reminds me of, you say he reminds me of Jay, Jaquan, but he reminds me of Deion Bush in high school. Very similar. To me, he's not an offer. Um, I don't think he's elite. I don't think he's got elite speed. Um, he, he feels out. I think he's well coached. He does, you know, the steps, footwork, and all that stuff is always the same. So you know that's what he's what, what's being coached. When he's filling the alley, you would like to see him strike. There, there's no burst. You know, he just kind of takes him a little bit to get going. Once he gets going, he, he's kind of okay and he gets down there. But there's no, he's not striking anybody or forcing anybody back. I thought he had when well, he was at a higher point going after it. And I also like his footwork when he did have to come over and play the number two guy. How he did a good job with his back pedal, stayed this way in the back pedal, and his quick feet that he had in front of him to show that, you know, he had the ability to move his hips. If he had to come down to be a, a nickel guy in some cases like that. He's an awesome. I thought he's a, um, you see him play that open middle quarters or whatever they're playing, but he fit the defense really well. I thought, you know, he tackled well. Even when he didn't run through people, I agree with her on some of those, but the guy was on the ground. He tackled the guy and the guy, you know, the guy was on the ground. He didn't miss tackles from what, you know, it's a highlight tape. Um, I thought when he times you wanted to see him flip his hips, he, Stepped up, flipped his hip, transitioned well, got out and, and, and um, was good in coverage. And yeah, he didn't catch the ball, but he did break on it. There was times where he broke on the defender because he knew he wasn't going to get to the ball and collision with the defender. And then there's times where he just broke on the ball. The one thing he's elite at is playing safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you want to you wanna get safeties, they got to play safe. Safety is the hardest position on defense to play. I don't think, I think he's instinctive. I don't say there's any way you would coach a safety to make the plays that he made. They either see it or they don't. And it's hard to train. Safeties, you know, have to be able to react to run pass and show up. They're playing him in a robber position. He's playing about 12 yards flat footed. And so he's going to be recovering on a lot of those deep balls once he reads pass. They're putting him in a position where he's not backpedaling. They're, they're, they're taking advantage of his skill set, which is to make tackles for them, similar to what Seattle does with with their post safety sits there flat footed and gets a run pass. Never never back pedals on snap and will run, you know, downhill. They're playing a lot of robin coverage. Uh, that's interesting you said that because that's uh, I wrote it down, that's so true. I mean as far as the safety. Yeah, and people say well, that guy can be a safety. I mean, yeah. you say that. Yeah, yeah, I hate I hate that. Yeah, I don't I don't like your yeah. see it. I don't know. Yeah. It's the hardest position on yeah. the last line of defense that you have to be the most versatile yeah. to cover that support the run. But deep ball have to make the checks and have to have to see it. And you can tell he's a he's a smart kid. I mean yeah. you know, um, any kid that's a junior that, that's technically sound is not a dumb kid, right? They won two state championships because they're well coached. Yeah. yeah. So a lot and, of that, and, and a lot of that's what you want. Right. So, so my question is a guy like that, that when you're watching this film, and I know the only thing that he's saying he's the lead at is that being a safety. Now, now picture him or project him in the ACC. Yeah. I would like to see him playing against one of the better teams I'm, I'm in, sure. in the area. What, what do you think he runs? Oh, he's probably ooh, four, high four seven, low four eight. I mean, are we, where are we evaluating elite athletes or good football players? Yeah, we're we're evaluating the types of players. Are we evaluating just speed? No, we're evaluating guys that can play for the University of Miami. The best safety in the country. Okay. Yeah. 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 You understand? He can't see it, he can't get lined up, he can't make the calls, he's not instinctive, he can't read run pass, he backs the hell up because he's scared. <laughs> right? All those things, right? The guy can play safety. That's what I was I was being a little bit sarcastic with you. He's not a leader in anything but playing safety. He's a hell of a safety. He is. Okay. What do you want then? Again, again to me we're going to another conversation. Okay. How about if he's not a jumper, he's a safety, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I know we're trying to develop explosiveness, but I'm just saying, like the guy plays safety, I, I keep going. Okay, I've been doing this for too long that when everybody says, oh yeah, they want to make safety a dumping ground, I'm not sure if he can play wide out, but he can play safety. Or I'm not sure if he can play corner, but he can play safety. And they want to make it a dumping ground, and you've never seen the kid play safety. Safety's a different deal. Watch this kid play safety. The best safeties I've ever had are the ones who played safety in high school. And we're good, their tape was good in high school, and their tape was good in college.
why don't we make a profile tape and try to find some of the stuff that everybody questioned, right? The speed in the range and everything else and see how many missed tackles he had. We watch it and see if, see if uh, the things people thought were, were real weaknesses showed up or if we were able to do uh, Right now we've got five offers, four non-offers. 